Hi there, welcome to the frigid waste of bagels. You've finally got through animos and you're ready to hate again. It's it's gonna be a good one, is Pagos. Basically, I'm here to just go through the little bits of things, the little tips that I like to give out there for when you're starting out in Eureka little zones. Uh, obviously, we have Pagos here. This is the entire map. This is very different to what you're probably used to, and you're probably wondering, like, what is this as well? And uh, this this place has mechanics and also layers. This is where hope goes to die. Um... Pagos is probably, at least in my opinion, where there is an incredible amount of rude people that do exist. Maybe, I, you know, people are like, uh, have, have different experiences, but I I definitely have had more uh, toxic behavior than anybody else, uh, at least in my own experience, when it comes to Pagos. The other zones tend to be fine, it's just Pagos tends to have the ones where people are more impatient and stuff like that too, because greed is involved what we were cassie and the um the, the crab and other things too plus this place just really really just grinds people but yeah we have Geralt over here and is just hammering away we've got the expedition bird watcher just there too obviously what you want here is louis ice uh the actual crystals you get from here will never be what you need what you need to do is you can enter this place at like level 18 or something I think it's 18. I would not recommend it. The max level of this zone is 35. Your first thing that you'll see is you'll exit this. You're like, oh my god, this place looks amazing. We're in the cones. What could possibly go wrong? <laughs> oh, you have little faith. First thing you do is you'll see a load of enemies as you come out. And you're like, where do I even go? What do I even do? Like, oh, surely I must go over here. Yeah, it's it's gonna be a confusing mess this place. But hey, look, a Pagos Elemental. These guys are always available, as always. You know, once again, people will say when things are happening. Uh, let's see how busy it is. Not very busy at this time. It can vary. This also is the start of where you'll uh, actually encounter a few special mechanics. Um, I think when you reach about... I think it's elemental level 25, 26. It, you have to do some quests and stuff. Uh, you'll be given a kettle, which is what this is here. Now, light, light farm is very important because what you need to do is you'll get yourself your light from doing fates or defeating enemies, but mostly from fates. So you'll be going around and uh, hoping for that fate train, which is why people recommend not coming here until like level 26. Uh, and uh, you'll head off and you'll go and hand it in here, the Crystal Forge. You're like, oh wow, how do I get there? <laughs> Good question. Well, let's go on a bit of a journey, yeah? Yeah, you want to go on a bit of a journey? Let's go on a bit of a journey. Because that's a cliff and you can't get there from him. It took me a while to figure this out too. Now, the other type of stuff you'll get from here as well is there is a cold box which will give you a chance to emote. These come from like certain enemies evolve and they have a chance of potentially dropping as well. You'll always get one from a certain fate in this place which is like the menu. But what is this? A level 40 frozen void dragon? But whoopsie, you told me the maximum level in here was 35. It is! You can go no higher than 35 in this place. It's like, well, how do I get past this? What do I do? Well, see, I think it's... What they want you to be doing is they want you to be going this direction and going all the way over here. That's the direction you need to be heading, okay? Absolutely need to be going this way. This place is a nightmare for low levels. But should you happen to encounter these dragons, hit yourself the uh, the key on the keyboard. I don't know what it is on uh, on a controller which is next to Numlock, which is the uh, the slash, or the divide, to walk. You want to walk past those dragons. If you wake it up and you are, like, low level, it will one-shot you. And believe you me, people don't want to be reviving you if they can help it here. Uh, they will still go out of their way to try and revive you. It's just some of these areas, as you can see here, are a little bit of a nightmare to navigate, especially at certain levels. If you are able to get somebody to uh, basically taxi you through here, absolutely do. Do not go through this place if you can help it. There are so many dragons, it is ridiculous. Like, for example, there's a dragon right there, right next to the elemental. 
I didn't even think that could happen. That's insanity. But uh, there's something even better which I need to show you, wonderful ladies and gentlemen. Here. We're, 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 we're getting to it. We're getting to it. We're just on a journey right now. We're on a journey. I'm also going to show you exactly how hard these uh, these hit as well. I actually have uh, four in currently defense, and these guys are ice as well. So I'll show you what happens. Like if if you do see someone aggro one of these, run. That's 2,909 damage out of what I have here. That would have done a lot more damage to me if I set you offensive. I set you offensive. Now it's even more. <laughs> Either way, you, you're not going to have the defense to deal with them when you're in there. Like, it's probably like, oh, that doesn't do a lot of damage. Believe you me. I don't take a lot of damage as it is. There's a lot of mechanics I see one-shot people in these places now because of my gear that barely scratch me. So, yeah. This individual here is trying to farm the crab, it seems, because it's fog and... Yeah. Oh, the crab actually just spawned. That is going to cause a lot of people to come in to fight it. That's one of the rare spawns, uh, which can possibly give you the blitz ring, which used to be the, um, the belt. But, uh, yeah, I might actually partake in that, because why not? So, yeah, what you want to be doing is heading this direction to get to where the actual fingers and the most amount that you can you can actually have in this is nine just so you know it's nine it, you can't get any higher than nine it won't backlog it either once you're at nine you're at nine and you gotta spend it so yeah make sure you're not in combat it's very easy to aggro stuff and they follow you for a while you want to drop down here and then there is a dragon over there as well you want to make sure that uh, you are not going to aggro that and uh, you'll enter the place. In fact, I'll even show you it because I could always just teleport here and it'd be nice and quick. It's right by the Aetherite for that, uh, for the crab, so it's not really a problem. In fact, they're fighting the crab right now, which is a little bit selfish, to be honest, but whatever. I don't care. I don't really want it, so it doesn't matter to me. Like, they can do it. This instance is probably closed, which is a thing, too. That does happen. Uh, forgot to mention that in Animos, but it don't matter. Yeah, something that comes with experience. They walk past the dragon. Make your way in here, pray to god you don't freaking aggro those. Uh, and then you just go to the Crystal Forge. Just just right click it, or whatever, interact with it, and it'll, it'll do it. And then you want to like walk back over here as well. Once again, do not aggro it, it's always going to be here. If you see someone else aggro it, it's okay, keep running, it's not a problem. You don't need to worry about that anymore, that's their problem, not yours. Just make sure that you, uh, you know aren't the one who's being chased it's okay if someone else is getting chased just not if you're getting chased that can be the way it is and as an fyi as well if you are a passenger and you're being taxied make sure you're set to walking because uh, if you're not set to walk and even if you are a passenger that also does aggro the dragons but anyway to get to luhi or any of the other stuff like special ones you need to spawn here Oh yeah, this place also has rap, uh, like little bunny fates as people call them. People don't tend to do this bunny fate because it will just lead you to where your bunny will get killed, which is not great. Uh, not something you want. Not at all. So people will play it safe and I'll talk about that more in Pyros. That's where the rage really begins. There's nothing super special in this place apart from Cassie's minion. So you do the fate, you'll get it done, bada bing, bada boom. Uh, it's not, it won't give you any crystals, but it will still give you, give you experience, which is always nice. Just as an FYI, um, you don't need it to get the crystals. Um, like I said, you do need crystals in this place. I don't think it gives a lot of light either, but I could be wrong on that. I don't really farm it here. I've never really done it, but uh, if you're looking for some gill, a bronze chest gives 10,000 uh, gill. A silver chest, I think, gives 35,000 gill. And then, like, a gold chest gives 100,000 gill. Now, here is where it becomes important if you're heading to Luhi. Start walking before you drop. And there's another drop which is over here as well for getting into, like, it's, like, around here or something. You'll drop down to head into this place too. There's a dragon right here. You want to be walking before you drop. If you aggro something, just 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 drop anyway. People will, will most hopefully most likely revive you if you drop down. 
It's not a problem. They will do it. People are quite nice once again when it comes to that. If it gets to about this point, you can start, you know, running again. But yeah, that's basically the way Pagos works with certain things. This place is a nightmare to navigate. It is horrible. Uh, once again, deleveling is a thing. It will happen. Uh, if you die, please, for the love of God, uh, don't just release. Because this is the place you most likely will die. Uh, navigation is evil. Don't be afraid to ask people. Just don't not go the direction which I mentioned before. Uh, which is where, you know, like, uh, don't go this way and then go up. Don't go this way towards this shard here. That's the direction you want to be heading. And uh, I'll show you where it kind of is located. Like, if you are... Because I entered this place when I was level 20. Like, pretty much almost every element is almost available in terms of whichever one around this area. If, like, level 20 to 20, 21, 22, whatever. Uh, so you can kind of get them. It does help with that. It's not a problem. So, yeah. It's not going... You're not screwed if you do move from Animos to here straight away. Just don't be afraid to stay in Animos for longer. If you're like me and you're working on multiple relics, it doesn't really change much, in all honesty. Uh, but yeah, just it will delay you uh, being here because the fates just won't do much for you. Whereas Animos is usually popping and it's easy. Hopefully by then you know what you're doing, get a bit more experience. As I said before, you'll still get experience and you're still level. It just will cap you at 20. Whereas here the cap is 35. Uh, I think the maximum level in total is 60, which is high datos. So yeah, this is the route you want to take initially. We go through here, this is the elemental conflict uh, where you'll get a bunny and uh, what you do is you hit the, the the carrot which will then direct you in the direction you need to go. They'll say like, oh, the, the rabbit senses something in the southwest or the northeast, whatever. Head that way and then when it's like, it's basically like playing hot and cold with the, um, with the bunny. As far as I remember as well, this Aetherite crystal is pretty, pretty okay in terms of getting it level wise. No fate except for one spawns this area outside of that, which is the uh, the Snow Queen, which you need to kill the uh, Yukinos for, and it is a level 20 fate. There's enough fates around here for you to do, and it will get you enough XP as well. It's just, there's almost no point doing them until you get the, the, the Kettle, because, yeah, you can gather, like, crystals, but let's put it this way. Even after getting the kettle, when I was farming the remaining relics, I ended up with like three to four maximum stacks of crystals, which I just was throwing away because I did not need them. You cannot use them for anything else other than making, turning them into Vitae Aether crystals. Literally nothing else. You can't farm crystals here either outside of Fates, unlike Animos. Animos is the only place where mobs will drop crystals for you. So, yeah. It's just, that's why people recommend staying in Animos for longer than come and go to Pagos. And it's just, it's better for your sanity too. Anyway, thank you very much for watching. That's the gist of how things work in Pagos. Obviously, I'm going to be moving over to Pyros and Hydatos last. Uh, obviously, the etiquette is still the same because of, like, the way fates here work. They're most... It's more 25 than 27. Um, obviously, if you need a bit more time and you're trying to get to there, like, you usually just... If someone asks, like, hey, is there anyone else on the way? Do say something. People will genuinely wait for certain fates. Not everyone is an asshole. It's just this place causes quite a bit more stress than other places due to the way it's, like, just laid in all honesty the layout is is atrocious uh and uh, they learned i believe uh yoshi p and the team learned from uh, not having this place the way it works because uh, pyros and high date are a lot more uh, easier to navigate let's just put it that way high date is just a wide open field pretty much and pyros is almost the same it does have paths and stuff like that but it's it's back to how animos is more than anything they experimented with this and people hated it <laughs> anyway thank you very much for watching good luck in eureka uh, and you know good luck on the grinds as well um don't forget to check us out on twitch.tv for slash wobsy i'm still working on the eureka relics as we speak and uh, i'll see you next time ta-ta for now don't forget to like comment subscribe and share the videos do 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 do